Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, let's talk about the histogram, another statics, statistical chart like uh, box plot and let's see it in action. And as you know, uh, if you want to further more know about uh, the histogram, then you can always go to Wikipedia for understanding why you really need it. But again, it is used for checking the distribution of data in statistics. All right, so let me delete this, uh, this section. Um, let me drag histogram over here and add a field. So what field we want it. So if you notice, it is not saying that add a dimension or add a measure, it is just saying add a field. So let's add a field, let's say order quantity in this case. So here, if I just click on the done, that's how the order quantity is. And uh, basically it is saying that, let's say for order quantity over here, which is seven, uh, anywhere between uh, seven and 10.5, the frequency or the count is 675. That means it has been ordered 675 times. Let's go ahead and take another example. Um, instead of uh, order quantity, let's add uh, sales about that uh, so that's how the sales looks like and uh, over here it is indicating that sales is between 0 to 6000 where the maximum sales is and the frequency is 7.75k that means most of the orders are appearing here so a couple of things that you can do is uh, first of all go to histogram setting and instead of auto you can change some of the settings like you want to display number of bars or bar width on x-axis this looks a little bit interesting so if I go into the front end it looks a little bit more professional as you can see it is coming down properly and clearly indicating this from 0 to 20k it is going um, similarly how many bar width what is the bar width that you need what is the offset or if you want to count distinct value so different configuration that you want to specify related to the bar chart that you want to display. Again, you have some add-ons like uh, you want to include zero, uh, zero value orders like where the sales is zero or not. You want to add any kind of reference line, very straightforward, just specify the value or the formula. Again, if you want to change some presentation about how the grid line spacing is, you want to in add or remove the labels um, coloring y-axis and x-axis you can play around with that uh, but that's how uh, the basic setting is just to provide the field just to change some of the histogram settings about whether you want bar weight or you want a number of bars up to you based on what you are looking, really looking for and uh, you will get a beautiful looking uh, bar chart I'm sorry histogram chart so that's pretty much about it uh, histogram uh, I really encourage that if you have never used it, first understand uh, what histogram is all about and uh, then come over here and start playing with this data uh, to understand what the result is really, really indicating. And this is a very interesting one uh, if you know what this chart is really saying. 